to the base far? Not with our new friend. And now we have time to catch up. No kidding. It's been years. You must have seen the entire galaxy. Almost. How was it? Amazing. The sinking city of Karatao. The Persia Cliffs. This galaxy suffers. But there is still beauty. That's the way back. Run in with the Empire? Yes. These are dark times. I helped those I could. I'm just glad you're all right. You as well. Wherever I went, you were never far from my thoughts. You've avoided Seer for years. Why visit her now? I need her help. We're looking for something connected to the Order. Interesting. Are you still upset with us for leaving? I didn't see it coming, Marin. All of us going our separate ways. I understand, Cal. But we had our reasons. Go any faster. Go, go. We have to hurry. Faster.
can't be. The Spamel must have found shelter. This way. Okay. The Spamel saved us. So we can forgive it for leaving us to die. Agreed. Okay. Should be set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. All right. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can. Not staying in one place too long. And, um... I think we might have found something special. A place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And well, the fight is all I know. Cal. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company. On dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path. Until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad either. I missed you, Marin. And I, you. I had to leave, Cal. In order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home, but... It does not need to define me. I never understood why you left. But... Sitting here now... It's clear you made the right choice. You missed a spot. Morning. The weather has cleared. Let's go. Catch. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I am excited to see Breeze. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hyloon Saloon. 
He named it after his great grandma. Nothing's more important to Grace than family. told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I am glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? <laughs> well, that just looks like it's seen better days. You should see the other guys. This base is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Not my preferred weather forecast, but more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our spammel friend showed us the way. You've a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Welcome to Jetta. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. Well, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. 
It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like... like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes, and Force sensitives, and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire is an invulnerable. That you can't resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, uh, you'd just given up. It was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but... Kind of creepy, though. Well, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hello, uh, BD. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. For this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jetta? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the Archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Oh, boy. This guy knows his audience. <sighs> I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. <laughs> <laughs>